But, uh, okay, moving on to the next subject. Now, me and a friend were talking about this one day. And, you know, how fucking sick would it be to have a realistic zombie game? You know, like, sure, okay, this is pretty cool, you know, slaying some zombies through a computer screen, picking up some perks, uh, refilling ammo off the walls and shit. You know, this is cool, but at the same time, how much further... Uh, okay, I'll start off with this. Gaming has... Oh, oh, did I just see that on my screen right? There's a fucking ray gun below me. Oh my god, I just got a chrome ray gun. How fucking mad are you? <laughs> Damn, this thing looks sexy. Alright, um... So... Uh, I have all my perks now. I, I think I'm gonna go upstairs and just chill here for a bit. Uh... Ooh, time to buy a PPSH off the wall. This is my favorite gun ever. Best gun in any Call of Duty. By far. So back to my theory about a realistic zombie game. I'll try to talk about this without getting distracted by my gameplay for a bit. So we were talking about this, you know, how far video game creating has come to where they can build something like Skyrim or Fallout, but they can't build something like what we see around us every day, like a realistic America, where there are a bunch of suburbs and shopping centers and shit like that, and there are also wildernesses and mountains and stuff, and cities. Like, how sick would it be to just have a game where there is a massive zombie outbreak and you take the role of an 18 year old male or female or however age or whatever you want to be and you just live you're just a normal guy you know you put in your work uh, and uh, a zombie outbreak just happened and you live in a suburban town and then what the fuck do you know your world's flipped upside down when zombies are every 10 fucking feet I mean, I honestly think it would be pretty cool, and there are some good ideas for this, like, uh, uh it, the point of it is just to survive, much like in real life, the point of living is to survive, the survival of the fittest, it's what we call this game, we call life, um, I think it would be pretty cool to actually try to survive, you know, you have to gather supplies, you have to eat meals, much like the Sims, but zombies in first person, and, uh, you can pick up weapons, melee weapons, guns, you can go to Walmart, or uh, I don't know if you guys have any of these stores up your way, but there's this hunting store called Gander Mountain, and um, when friends and me have talked about a zombie apocalypse before, the joke with me was always, you know what, I'll be the first motherfucker up at Gander Mountain, and I will have already broken into the case with all the guns in it, token out the best looking sniper there, sitting on the roof picking off people from a distance. Like, that would be pretty badass. So if you could do that in a video game, because I know it was sure as hell that isn't happening in real life anytime soon, that would be pretty motherfucking awesome. And I think a lot of other people would think that is awesome too. So if you are a future game developer watching this video, you know, um, take this, take my theory, well not my theory, but that theory into consideration, how badass that would be. Um, and look at this, a black dead guy sitting on the floor, that is racist, man. What the hell? <laughs> Ooh, Bowie knife. Sexy. Sexy time. Sexy Bowie knife time. This will fuck some zombies up. I do not know what is in this room. Oh god, I almost died there. I'm just gonna chill in here for a bit because I can. Oh, uh, Reaper. Oh, oh god. Oh god. I just picked up an upgraded PPSH. Jizz. Jizz. Max ammo. You know what? I don't even need that. I'm just gonna sit here and spray for a bit. Or I can get a nuke, that'd be better. Oh shit. And a ma Oh my god, look at that. Look at that ammo capa uh, capacity. 700 bullets. Jesus Christ, you gotta love PC gaming and PPSH. Actually, you know what? I might sound like a hypocrite there. Um, I do not know. I actually, it has been that long since I played World of War Zombies on console that I forget if it is that much. Wait, I just saw. I'm actually going to try the box. It's worth it. See if I can get something in this setup. Yeah, right. Oh! Oh my god. I just jinxed myself and I got monkeys. Fucking right, man. That's what's up. Monkey bombs. So, uh, after this round, I'm going to go up to the final platform upstairs and start running a massive rape train and just start going ham on these zombies. Going fucking golly mode. You know what's good? Oh. Oh, PPSH rape. It's like, what, two or three bullets for a kill? Damn, could this get any better? Hi, I'm Dead sea, and you are dead. 
Oh god. Uh, 12 zombies. Alright, sweet. I like this. Reload, look to the left, spray. Reload, look to the right, spray. Fucking G status, brah. Alright, 6 left. I'll just deal with them when I'm on the roof. Or I can deal with them now. I feel like I'm a zombie procrastinator. I deal with them as late as possible. Alright, where's this last one? Uh, uh, I, I don't know how to kill you. That That's pretty much what his expression is right now. You know, I'll do the honors for you. I'll just kill you instead, bitch. Oh, did I just see this? Look at that. Look at that sexy gun. I don't want to buy it because I have fucking sexy ray gun and a sexy reaper. So, you know what? Screw that. But still, it was a cool looking camo. Uh, I am on the rape train of amazingness. Alright, and I will actually explore up there and the rest of this map uh, in a later round, maybe like 10 or 11, once I have enough points. And uh, I just feel like running around and showing you guys the rest of this map when I have a crawler. But until then, I am going to be up here running a rape train. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this zombie gameplay because I think it's pretty fucking sick, honestly. And in the meantime, I'm just going to share a little bit more about me. Alright, you know, uh, you guys watch my videos on YouTube. And you might think of me as this, uh, I, don't, I honestly don't know what you guys think of me. You might think of me as this... The 16 year old, I don't know, you might think I'm a fucking stoner or pothead or something, just gets blazed and plays video games. I have no clue what you think of me, or you might think I'm like some fucking nerd that sits inside, or you, I don't know, some of you might even think I'm like a, a pro uh, football player, you know? Linebacker for my team, uh, lead my high school to the States, you know? I have no clue what you guys think of me. Um, what I see myself as is completely different, and I would just like to share. Uh, stuff about me in my videos so my subscribers know me a little bit better um, you know so let me start with this I guess oh, look at that zombie body troll all insta kill in times two what more can a man ask for alright uh, so basically I am a 5'6 white male uh, in America I live in Pennsylvania possibly the most boring state ever I don't know a lot of, I mean, I, I know we don't have shit to do here, but uh, that's really how it is everywhere, seems like, so I'm not just going to say it's only PA, but sometimes it feels that way when I see all these other states having all this cool ass shit. <coughs> but, um, I'm in PA, I'm just a normal 16 year old suburban white kid, um, I don't know what backgrounds you guys come from, but I come from a... A suburban family that just you know one of those families that raises a kid sends them to public school hopes for them to go to college and pick up um, art of something you know like a, a, a master of something uh, so that's pretty much my background you know nothing really super exciting happens but uh, that's that's pretty much me uh, I'm a five foot six white guy like I said uh, which I really don't give a shit. Some of you might notice, like, my voice is pretty deep. And then my height is only 5'6". Actually, 5'5 five, five uh, to be precise. That's pretty weird, actually. 5'5'5". Five, five, five. Wow, okay. No, I'm 5'5.5". Five five five. Wow. Trolled by my own height. Um, I'm 120 pounds. I'm not a fat ass. Uh, actually, that's, that's another story for later in this commentary. I used to be a fat ass, but I'll talk about that in a bit. Uh, so where to start? Alright, a little bit about me. I, uh, I like to play video games, as you can see, from my YouTube channel. Uh, I find myself to be a little above average of video games, which is the whole reason I make these videos in the first place. So, possibly, you know, if you're a gamer too, and you like to play some zombies, or, uh, some other games I play, you can learn from my, my, uh, my gaming, and, uh, maybe better yourself as a gamer yourself you know uh watch me some, run some rape trains and then you go play with your friends and you're like better at rape training and you'll be like holy shit watching golly's videos fucking help me i know how to run rape trains like a pro so that's that's my goal of this zombie series i don't know it's not just rape trains just the smarter zombie player in general you know like how to avoid zombies uh 
where to wait. Uh, I, I don't know, just shit like that. You know, everything about zombies, you might be able to learn from my gameplay. And that's why I actually stopped my Minecraft series for a bit. Because, to be honest, I'm a fucking noob at Minecraft. Like, I make the game look retardedly hard. When in reality, it's retardedly easy. So, I just took a break from the Minecraft. I got three episodes in, and half the comments were about uh, corrections of what I said or, like, uh, stuff to help me out. And really, I should be the one helping you guys out since you're the viewer. So, I didn't stop the Minecraft series. I just kind of put it on hold until I'm, like, a beast at it. Because, I'm, I mean, I know it's hard to be a beast at... Or, I don't know how it's hard to be in... I don't know how it's hard to be a noob at uh, Minecraft, but for me, I'm just a noob at it. So I need to get used to building shit in the game. Once I get good at it, you know, I'll continue that series, which will be in like a week. Trust me, I'll get... One night this week, I'll just sit down and be like, okay, you know what? I'm going fucking ham in Minecraft tonight. And by six hours from now, I will be uh, an MLG pro and be going to fucking events for this shit. Um, so, actually... Fuck, okay. My brain fart, again... Uh, 